tutorial again. It's Miriam Fell playing method one. Uh, I just got to the point where I should be going uh, to Citadel Tower. So now they're on the way. to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Okay. That's a long way. Long way to go. Come on. Come on. And here we are. make a save I think Saren's hiding something give me more time stall them stall the council don't be ridiculous your investigation is over Garrus and there's some of the seasick Garrus Vakarian Commander Shepard Garrus Vakarian I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my, my findings boss. on Saren to the Council. You don't like Saren. <laughs> Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Yeah. This guy's what nice. If any of us have played Masvet, one is he's so super awesome. Okay. Um. Admiral Kahoku. No, I'm waiting to speak, Commander. Okay. No. Uh, let's put this away and save again. And um, then go forward. The hearing's Captain already Andy. started. Come on. It all, all already started. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Sounds like Saren and Anderson have some history. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Mm, doesn't make sense. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. 
There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <laughs> How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is a bastard. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Oh Things yeah, he bad. was on a mission Real with them. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hmm. Yeah. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. I, I really hate to remember. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a about, history. What about the what happened? Saren? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Ah, Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Mm, maybe I, I should, should go. Just go to... Good luck, Shepard. I should go. I'll be over yeah, in the ambassador's office if you need the anything one else. He will, she will be using a lot. Mm. This way. So, uh... Now it's... I should get Garrus. Um, and... Go talk to Palawan. That guy's up to something. What guy? What? Oh, no, no I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, is there something you want? Follow the Keepers? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? 
Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep... Don't get coy. I know <laughs> what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? Mm. No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I don't wanna go I'm going. Uh, against the authorities. So long. So um maybe I should go um towards wards. Yeah, um, the one thing about this uh, this game, I cannot jump. I can jump. That's kind of annoying. Okay, a little bit elevator music. Oh yeah, who really likes politics? So now I can go to wards, I think. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. What is going over there? Save? Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? He should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Okay. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my <laughs> superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Okay. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn yeah. jelly all Big afternoon. Yeah, jellyfish. You are certainly welcome. Stubborn, stubborn jelly. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit uh, to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. White. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Yeah. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled oh, with zealots on. shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Okay, fine. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? Okay. As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just... Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I... Can't. 
Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the hen our language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? I don't really know. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Yeah, true. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits. This should cover you. <laughs> this is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Good. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, <laughs> for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Good. So, now this thing is dealt with. And now it's... Uh, um, my ways to go towards.